In this video, we're going to look at how to read tables. Now, you may be asked in the GCSE Foundation test to answer some questions um, about reading tables. They're usually at the beginning of the test and they're quite straightforward, but they're very important that you don't drop any marks in it. And it's sometimes quite easily done by the wording of the question. So let's have a look at this table. So we've got the uh, five boys, Alfie, Benson, Colin, Dylan and Edward. We've got their ages their number of pets and their favorite sport. And we've got four questions we're gonna answer on that. So part A, write down the name of the boy with the most pets. So as you can see, we've got a number of pets here. One, zero, two, four, and one. Well, four is clearly the highest, uh, four is clearly the highest number of pets. And the boy with, the, with four pets is Dylan. So Dylan is the boy with the most number of pets. Part B, which two boys are the same age? So let's have a look at their ages. 13, 10, 11, 12, and 11. Well, as you can see, 11's in that list twice. And the boys that are 11 years old are Colin and Edward. So Colin and Edward are the boys that are the same age. Okay, part C. Write down the age of the oldest boy. Now, this question, obviously, you make sure that you're reading it carefully. Write down the age of the oldest boy. It's easy to write down the name of the oldest boy, but it wants the age of the oldest boy. So you just got to make sure that you're reading these care, uh, questions carefully. So as you can see, the ages are 13, 10, 11, 12, and 11. Well, 13 is the highest age. It's Alfie. But the question says, write down the age of the oldest boy. Well, the age of the oldest boy is 13. And part D, write down the name of the boy who has one pet and whose favorite sport is rugby. So as you can see, the, the number of pets that the boys have got are 1, 0, 2, 4 and 1. Well, we've got 1 twice. We've got 1 here and 1 here. And that is Alfie and Edward. Um, Alfie's favourite sport is golf, whereas Edward's favourite sport is rugby. So as you can see, rug, um, Edward is the boy who's got one pet and whose favourite sport is rugby. So the answer is Edward. Okay, our next question. This time we've got a medal table from an Olympics and we have got um, countries, Brazil, Egypt, Japan, Kenya, Norway and Thailand. We have got the number of medals they've got, gold, silver and bronze and we've also got the total number of medals that each country has won. So we've got three questions. The first question, write down the country that has won the most gold medals. So make sure you notice the word gold there. Okay, so the country that's won the most gold medals. So we've got nine, seven, eight, 11, 8, and 6. Well, 11 is the highest number, so write down the country as going to be Kenya. Okay, part B. Write down the number of bronze medals that's won by Egypt. Okay, write down the number of bronze medals won by Egypt. So we're looking for bronze medals and we're looking for Egypt. So we've got Egypt and the number of bronze medals, well, that would be 10. So Egypt has won 10 bronze medals. And part C, the last question, write down the country that has won twice as many silvers than gold. Okay, so we're looking for the country that has won twice as many silvers than gold. So if we look, we're going to compare the gold and silvers, and we won twice as many silver than gold. So here we've got 20. Well, 20 is more than double nine, so 20 is not double nine. Uh, it's, it's 16 is not double seven. Uh, 16 is double eight. So that means that Japan is the country that's got twice as many silver than gold. Okay, um, just carrying down, you can clearly see here that Kenya hasn't got twice as many silver. Uh, Norway hasn't got twice as many silver because double eight again is 16, not 14. And double six is 12. So again, Thailand hasn't got double the number of silver than gold. So Japan here, as you can see, it's got twice as many uh, silver than gold. So it's right down the country. So it's going to be Japan. And that's it. Again, these are quite nice questions, but they're very important ones not to lose marks on.